Hello everyone, this is Gary with your cards of the day and I'm recording this video a little later than intended so the lighting may be a little strange here because I have a number of different lights on in order for you to see the cards and before I start uh, I just want to wish everyone a really blessed and happy Mabon as we are right on the cusp of the autumn equinox as I record this video and this is the time really where we're moving out of the summer and we're moving into the autumnal energies so this reading is going to be your Mabon reading for this year and as a consequence I'm doing a six card spread where once again the top layer gives us a theme and then the bottom layer gives us a comment on that theme and how that energy is going and I'm using a, a real mixture of autumnal uh, and greenwood kind of energies here so I'm using two decks by uh, the Cargoms both of which are illustrated by Will Worthington uh, so we have the Druidcraft Tarot and we also have the Druid Animal Oracle as I say by Philip and Stephanie Cargom illustrated by Will Worthington I have two decks that are again illustrated by Will Worthington this one here is the Celtic Tree Oracle uh, for which he teamed up with John Matthews and both Will Worthington and John Matthews worked together on this one which is the Wildwood Tarot along with Mark Ryan. The other two decks that I have I've brought out my uh, Well Worn Path deck again which is a Wiccan deck and also my Celtic Tarot by Julian de Burr. So our first card for this reading is the Seven of Pentacles, which very much, to me, fits in with the theme of Mabon and of Harvest, because what we ha see here is a figure cutting uh, some foliage from a tree. So it really does give me a feel very much of Harvest anyway. And the message here very much seems to be one of taking time to reflect, taking time to see where we, we are now, look at the fruits of our labors, and look at where we have come to. It's very much a feeling of having a stopping and reflecting point before we then decide how we're going to proceed forwards from here. Now, the card that comments on this is the pentagram which if I can just turn this so that you can see it there we go it's the lighting is a little strange as I say so apologies for that we basically have a pentagram drawn out in the center of this lunar disk in actual fact and the meaning of pentagram is about creativity and manifestation and creation and so the feeling here very much as a comment on the previous card is yes indeed we are looking today and over this whole sort of uh, equinoxal period we are looking at what we have thus far created what our creativity and what our um, ability to f make things come into form has brought us so what have we created what have we actually done up to this point it's shining a light on this and again with this being backed onto the moon it makes me feel like we're going to be looking at this right the way through to the full moon which is at the end of this month and we're going to be looking and we're going to be deciding whether what we've actually created so far is what we intended if it is then we have a 
time where we can actually enjoy that and we can perhaps plan to continue in that vein if we find that our creations are not what we intended um, then we have a time to work out a way of changing that and adjusting and making sure the next bout of creativity is more in line with what we want now our next card which is our animal oracle card is horse and again this seems to me quite appropriate seasonally because we can see the sun has gone past center so it is on its journey downwards just as we are at this time of year looking towards the darker months looking towards the the winter months and ultimately towards yule which is around christmas time and here we have a card that offers us a great deal of strength a great deal of connection to the goddess connection to the earth which is very important at this time of year but also the opportunity to uh, maybe go off in new directions and look for the next challenge so this is already talking about having moved past what we had in the previous card of, of reflecting and looking at where we are now and already we'll, we have this drive to move things forward and to look for the next uh, challenge the next adventure if you like and the card that comments on this is the three of arrows which has the tagline of jealousy and this might seem like in some ways quite a negative card to come up but the feeling this gives me very strongly is one of look at your motivations look at why you are being motivated to take on the things that you're taking on or why you are looking to the particular directions of travel that you're looking at what are your motives behind uh, what you want to achieve are they coming from a place of growth and stability and self-worth or are they coming from a place of envy and jealousy and in a sense looking at what others have and wanting that for yourself in a, um, a slightly more negative way there's nothing wrong with looking at what other people have and wanting that for yourself because it would be good for you because it's good for the people around you that's positive but if you're looking purely in a, a sort of jealous negative and en uh, envious kind of way then it's perhaps something that you need to to look at and work on a little we have a heart shape here which is not only on fire but it's bleeding as well so this could be an issue of healing the heart healing the emotions and then being in a better place to uh, to move forwards and our next card is the Aspen now my to be fair my Gaelic is appalling so I'm not going to try to pronounce the alternate word that they give on this card and I don't think you could see it on this light in this light anyway but this is a very interesting card in itself this is the shiver tree which is associated largely with the healing of ailments that have a shivering symptom to them and the the message of this card is very very clear this is about family and community this is about being stronger together and at this time of year if you think of the harvest harvests are performed more quickly and obviously for the benefit of all if all involved take a turn if all involved work together to make it happen so we really do have a card here indicating that this is a time to gather together with loved ones with family with friends 
be around people who are important to us, work as a team, and play as a team, so that we have that much greater strength and foundation because we are working together. And our final card for today is the chariot. And the comment here, this is a cancer ruled energy. And cancer is very much associated not only with the moon, which came up earlier on, but with the emotions. So the feeling here, this is, I have to say, one of the calmest looking chariot cards I've seen. The feeling here is very much one of commenting on the previous idea of family and friends is everybody pulling together for a common cause, pulling in a single direction, being uh, emotionally settled and balanced and being as one and operating as one. So if everybody pulls together, it's again, it comes back to this, what I was given of the idea of collecting in the harvest. Everybody works together as one and the job gets done so much quicker. It's so much faster and more beneficial. So really be, of, be almost single-minded of purpose and single-minded of direction as your group sort of decide on on your direction that you wish to go and then as a collective head in that direction so just a, a brief recap we have the energies of Mabon itself the energies of the autumn equinox really indicated here we have a time of reflection the time of harvest itself a time to look at where we are and what we have achieved and look at what our creativity has wrought. Look at what we have created and is it what we want? We then start looking as the year wanes, we start looking for the next goal, the next direction, the next challenge. And we have that drive and that determination and that connection to the mother goddess to help us along in this. But we need to look at our motivations and look at why we are wanting to move in that direction. Are we doing it from a place of growth or are we doing it more from a place of envy of others and jealousy of others? Then we have the Aspen, which brings forward this idea of working together as a whole, families, uh, friends, people that are important to you, uh, combining together, combining your talents and your energies and being stronger as a result of that coming together. And then finally, we are a single of purpose. We have a common goal, a common destination. We're emotionally settled and we can all push forward together to achieve those things that we wish so i hope you've enjoyed these cards of the day and this on a larger scale mabon reading reading for the autumn equinox as always please feel free to leave me some comments and let me know how these themes interact not only with your day, but perhaps with the weeks ahead. It may be something that you wish to come back and read over. Please also feel free to check out my website, www.theseerscave.webs.com for more information about myself, my tools, and the readings that I offer. I want to wish everyone a really happy, successful, fulfilling and peaceful day and a very blessed mabon or harvest end and as always wish love light blessings and freeth to you all <laughs>